Hi, everybody. Uh, this is a quick video to walk you through the process of how to use Canva to do a virtual floral design. We're going to try it. It's something new that I learned about uh, this week, and so I want to give it a go. So this is just going to be me walking you through how to do it. Your actual assignment will be totally separate, posted to Google Classroom. You can follow along with me if you'd like to just to get the hang of it. I'm going to go ahead and start to share my screen. All of you should have free access to Canva. Uh, I would definitely recommend using your student Gmail account so that way everything is easily viewable. Unfortunately, teachers have Pro for free. You guys do not. So I don't expect you to pay for Pro. All the features you need are included in the free one. You just don't have as many cool options, but that is totally fine. When you're logged into Canva, this is what you're going to see. Uh, what I would like you all to start with as our blank like piece of paper in Canva is going to be a flyer portrait orientation. So that's the up and down, not the side to side. So usually it's right there at the top of the page. It's one of the many like popular options. So it should be easy to find. If not, if you just type it into the search bar, you should get it. Then what we have here is our blank sheet, our blank flyer that we're going to create our design onto. So everything on this white piece of paper uh, is fair game. I only want you to ever make a design on one page. What will happen in the end in order for me to see this to grade is you will download this as an image and turn that in through Google Classroom. If you end up being on multiple pages, those are all separate images. They're not one cohesive thing. So try to keep everything on this one page. Now, for the fun part, to design, you've got lots of things over here. For our class, we're going to be using the elements bar. Specifically, you will be uh, searching for lots of different pieces. When you search, though, you will want to end up using the images. So uh, for today, I pulled up a past design for advanced florals. So this is not one that you guys got to do, but I have pictures of what the inspiration was. I have the list of supplies that we actually used. What I want to go ahead and do is digitally create this arrangement. So I don't have these things in person anymore. I'm going to start uh, with the vase, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the flowers. So you can search literally for anything on Canva. It'll even AI some stuff for free. So I think I want to start with a vase. We did a cube vase. You see the pictures over here. There's a colored one. There's a wood one. I forget which one we actually used, but doesn't really matter. And then I want to stay in graphics. Photos are cool, and you might find a really cool image in photos. The problem with that is then you're going to have to crop. These are all like this whole picture versus if I use this, I will only have this shape and I can put stuff on it and next to it and see all those layers. This, I would have to layer another photo next to it and it gets a little choppy. So I like to stay in graphics. I'm going to go ahead and click see all so it expands. And then um, I get all of these for free. Your guys's icon Anywhere that you're seeing my little graduation cap, you'll see a crown. And unless you individually are paying for Canva Pro, you can't use it. It'll lock you out. You could sign up for like a free 30-day trial or something, but I don't want you guys to get hung up paying for anything. So uh, I typed in cube vase and it gave me lots of ice cubes or Rubik's cube. Doesn't really matter. I could use this as my starting point. Totally fine. I don't care about the color. I could always help maybe even change the color. All right, I'm going to drag that to the bottom of the page because I'm going to build on top of it. Uh, next up, I want to start with my biggest flowers, my primary flowers. So those are sunflowers. Actually, we didn't end up using sunflowers. That's the inspo pick, but it's not on the material. So lilies, we did lilies. Those are huge. So I'm going to type in the lilies. I might even just type lily. See what happens. Yes, there we go. And um, this was November during Thanksgiving time, so I want this fall color palette. So either I would stick with black and white or I would try to find oranges and yellows. And oopsie daisy, I clicked out of that. So, okay, here's a nice orangey cluster. I'm going to size that appropriate to the vase. What else do I got? I'm going to go ahead and keep a white one just for funsies. The cool thing is as you're shopping, I would just like grab anything you think will work. And then in the end, if you don't like it, you can delete it. But then you have it available to you. And some of them are going to look really realistic and others are going to look more like clip art or cartoony. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to show you some samples too of complete designs in a moment and either is fine. 
So I'm going to stick with that for now. I'm going to arrange in a moment once I have my other big stuff. So my other big ones, I have disc buds. Let's see if Canva even knows what a disc bud is. Nope, it thinks it's disc is, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so let me rephrase this bud. This bud is basically those big daisies. So let's try daisy. I don't really want a car uh, cartoony one. I'll I'll keep him for now. And I'll keep him for now. Uh, another word I could use would be like a mum, chrysanthemum. I wonder if this will be like a mom. Yeah. Okay, um, Chris and there we are, Chris and the moon. There we go. Okay, so let me add that guy. Let me do an orangey one. And I like to find pictures that don't have much stem because in the end as a design, you're not seeing the stem. So I want my Canva picture to be a complete design. I want it to look like this. So in real life, yes, we're worried about the stem length, but in this image, I don't really care. I'm going to layer these things onto each other and they'll all be the same. Because those are my big ones. I also need some carnations. Lots of pictures for carnations. Ooh, I could add some red to this. Um, let's see here. Let me add some yellowing that's good okay all right and then i'm gonna wait for the greenery and the filler i want to place these first so let me make this bigger all right so i want to make a cube arrangement where everything uh it's going to come out the vase a little bit and it's going to come up top and it was domey right so just keep in mind the one and a half rule we're trying to do the same thing we would to an arrangement. So I'm going to mess with the placement. I want some stuff up top. The lilies were my big stuff. Remember that you can now orient just like you would in a vase. You can make them go in at angles. Also, like if you want more of this one, you can duplicate it. You don't have to go back and find it again. So you can put stuff in at all different kinds of angles. It could be coming out, whatever. Lots of cool stuff to do. All right. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind to tell you about is layers. So I found the lily first and the mum second. Whatever I have first goes on the page first. So then everything else is getting stacked on top of it. So as you design, these things are going to layer on top of each other. That's the really cool part because it looks like a realistic arrangement. But let's say in placement, I want these two there, but I actually want to see the full lily. I want him to technically be in the front. You'll just click on it and then do layer and then bring to front. And then now it will overlap. Now let's say I don't like that. I've changed my mind. I would much rather have the orange mum on top instead. I can send to back. Easy peasy. You could also have just hit the undo button right up here. And that would be fine too. So you've got options for layers. I have a lot of the same yellow color. So I don't like that. I think I'm going to duplicate and have some extra red in here to change it up. See what'll happen. I'll have some white. I don't like the look of that. So I'm going to delete it. I don't like the look of that one either. Um, this guy's really heavy, and I already have plenty of lilies. What was my recipe, anyways? Let's let's follow the recipe. We had two lilies. Okay, so I'm going to change this. I think I will keep the yellow and the white. The dispuds. We had two. So I'm going to get rid of that white one as well. Keep him in the background. Carnations, I get three. So let's see here. I want this red guy. I want another one of them. Put him up top. And then I think I'd like to find a white one if possible. Or I could use that yellow. Let's use this yellow guy. Put him here. So let's send him to the back. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let me get some of the greenery and the filler. I have eucalyptus and solid ego. Got really cool stems. I could make it go straight up and down, kind of fling out. Be kind of cute. So I've got stuff like this. Orient this way. It's still a little big. I want to send him to the back so I can still see the flap. Perfect. 
Right, and then Solidago. I don't know that it's gonna know what that is, but let's try it. You never know. Solidago. Hey, it did. Cool. A little yellow filler. This is so cool, you guys. I'm so excited for you guys to try this out. Uh, filler. We're going to place a little bit in between. And then I also want a little bit up. But I want to hide that stem. So I'm going to send to back. Then I just see the flower. Actually, okay. Let's, let's also send that red one to back. So then it's on top. Perfect. Just like that. Then we see a little peeksy of it. That we could send to the back because so we just see the top of it. Perfect. We can mess with that. Okay. All right. So all in all, the goal was to put those at opposite. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I'm close. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more greenery. But you guys see the idea, right? Like we can we can work with this. We can rotate, put it wherever we want. I could do another one. Slightly different angle. Do, do, do. I can make it really thick if I wanted to. I can make it really spacey. I just think this is such a cool feature for you guys to try out. Um, so yeah, let's pretend I'm happy with it and we're going to be done for the day. Uh, up here, you're going to click share. First off, you should probably name it so you can come back to it just in case you want to edit it later. Um, the other cool thing with Canva, everything auto saves. So if your computer wipes out, it'll be there. It's just going to be untitled. So, uh, But when you're ready to share it and actually turn it in for me today, you're going to hit this download button. And it's already going to default to an image, a PNG file. Totally great. You're going to click download. It's going to save it for you guys probably in your downloads folder of your Chromebook. So it might not show up in Drive. It usually shows up in that downloads folder. So take a look at it. But there it is. It's untitled because I didn't name it. Um, and then what you're going to do is you would go to Google Classroom and then I would have an assignment post for you. Let's say it's this guy just for funsies on your guys' end. Remember, you have that plus icon. You'll do plus upload file and then attach this guy for a turnip. So pretty dang easy, but we're making the realistic thing in Canva. We're using the real flowers. We're trying to do the color scheme. We're trying to recreate the shape and the placement of everything. I think it's a really cool idea. So uh, today's assignment will be live on Classroom in just a moment. Uh, if you need more, oh, I forgot to tell you the examples. There's some other examples for you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is where I learned it from was another ag teacher. So um, they're actually using this like on the teacher side of things. They're using this to prepare for it. So like I find an idea that I want to do, I'm going to pre-plan it in Canva. And that helps me also order the right amount of stuff because now I can see the size of all of it. So this is what um, this gal is going to order her kids for um, Christmas time. So she created all of this in Canva and then broke down the ingredients and then that helped her place the order. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to try this out next semester for that reason. So here's an example of their first, oh, sorry, <laughs> their Christmas one. Okay, um, another one they did, Thanksgiving. So see, like, not everything is perfectly placed, but in general, you get the idea of shape, you get the idea of color, what the flowers are going to look like together. Um, so there's that one. And then here's one for fall time. Really cool vase, the fern texture. I mean, everything's pretty realistic, which is really cool. There's never really been anything like this before that's been... Here's Halloween. So here, this one's a little bit more cartoony graphic wise, but the placement is still accurate. The color scheme is still accurate. I mean, so I'm happy with either. Like, I think it's cool to do the realistic one, um, but this is an interesting, interesting time. So today, I just want you to play with it. You'll find our assignment on Google Classroom. And um, if you're having issues, there are also lots of YouTube tutorials on how to use Canva. But again, I'm not asking you to make a pro account at all. There are plenty of options. You just have to keep scrolling to find something that you want to work with in the right color and all that. So uh, create design, flyer, portrait. That's your blank starting point, flyer, portrait. Sometimes it's easier to type it in, flyer, portrait. And then elements is where you're finding all of our um, photos, elements, and then you can search. All right, I hope that helps. Can't wait to see what you guys make.